Hi everyone, what's up? This is Vita Sabhat and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're watching me for the first time, I would request you to subscribe to my channel because that would mean a lot to me. And if you are an existing subscriber, then welcome back to my channel. So this video today is going to be about my hair. I don't want to sound obnoxious like so many people ask me for it and everything. But yes, I did get a bunch of comments and messages and you know stuff like that to tell me about my hair care routine. So here I am. Here I am. The reason why I was avoiding this video kind of was because my hair isn't in that great shape. Like I kind of don't really think that they should be set as an example for like good healthy hair. You know it's normal hair like sometimes they're good sometimes they're bad. It's just normal hair but since you guys wanted me to post this video here I am again so this as you are seeing this is my natural hair i have not used any straighteners or blow dryers on it and i washed it four days ago this is my fourth day since i washed my hair so this is what my four four day hair looks like i wash my hair every four or five days that is like twice in a week or i don't know i just wash them whenever they start feeling greasy and oily on the scalp so this is the day i was gonna wash my hair so i decided to film this video today also it has been more than nine or ten months since i have been to a salon to do anything to my hair so whatever it is it has just done everything at home so naturally my hair is quite thin like if you put them in a ponytail or something they they're literally like see they're really thin and they lack volume and also my hair has a lot of flyaways because it has these little hair which are not as long as the uh, rest of the hair so they are just this short and they just are always peeking out of my scalp since childhood my hair has been like really fine and soft and everything but since i came to mumbai my hair could not handle the humidity and the change in climate it's always raining and everything so that's why my hair just became worse during my initial years here so i had to live with this unmanageable bunch of wild hair for a few years and then last year i just gave in and i went for a keratin treatment in around april which costed me around five to six thousand i went to the vlcc care center they usually take around 10 to twelve thousand in normal salons but uh, vlcc was kind of cheap so i went there and it was actually really good for my hair keratin was nice for my hair but i think it requires like kind of a lot of patience because for first two three weeks your hair are totally you know chopped down and flat but after two three weeks as you wash it away it becomes more and more natural looking and when you have keratin you cannot use shampoos with sulfates and parabens usually all the shampoos that you use like all the commercial shampoos like whatever brands you know uh, they all contain sulfate and it is not recommended to use a sulfate shampoo for your hair because i don't know it, it just damages them so I switched permanently to sulfate free shampoos that also helped a lot and I also started using hair masks so that was a great thing. Keratin usually fades away in like 6 months but even after 6, 7, 8 months my hair was still manageable and it never went back to what it was before keratin like that kind of wild it still becomes really frizzy sometimes but it's not that bad you know it still has shine and everything so I don't know if it's because of keratin or because of using good shampoos who knows first step of my hair care routine is that i use this uh, mama earth's argan hair mask focus i need to wet my hair and just apply it so i'm just gonna be in a second so my hair is now wet and kind of towel dried which is important before putting on a hair mask it looks like this and it smells kind of um pungent it doesn't stink but it it has kind of a strong smell i'm really gonna look stupid but i don't know it just please so as i was saying i had keratin and that literally changed my hair forever it's been more than more than one and a half year years 
and I also got uh, my hair colored in June like for the first time ever it was a subtle uh, brownish color it was actually a collaboration with a brand and it was my first time so they gave me a nice brownish color with like little subtle golden streaks which I really liked but then I went on for another color during October I don't know what happened to me I was actually trying to go for a reddish color I don't know why <laughs> not a red red but a, like a subtle red that looks red in the sun or something like that it looked great at first but then it started changing to copper something and now it's just copper I can't really show you now because it looks black because it's wet everything was actually fine but then lockdown happened during April right March April somewhere around that and the hair fall I usually had it tripled and quadrupled I had like massive hair fall during that time I don't know what it was was it stress or was everybody facing it or there was something in the water I don't know it just kept happening I was losing hair like anything and I was so scared I started changing shampoos like what shampoo would suit me and everything and that time I was using Innisfree shampoo which did not suit me at all Innisfree is a great company all of my skincare is from Innisfree but uh, sadly their shampoos are not it I guess they didn't work for me and they had sulfate which I did not know at first two months ago I switched to this shampoo the skin science wow shampoo apple cider vinegar shampoo from wow skin science uh, it has avocado oil and you know virgin coconut oil and stuff like that this is shampoo and this is conditioner so I started using these this is not at all sponsored I got them by reading like a thousand reviews on Amazon nobody recommended it to me I just went for it there were like so many good reviews about them that they help control your hair fall I know there's gonna be a lot of noise in this video but I really can't help it because I've already wet my hair so What I was saying was this shampoo actually helped my hair fall a lot not initially but in one or two months my hair is significantly falling less because you know hair fall is normal it happens to everyone but you know when your hair is falling normally or if it's excessive and you get to know that so yes my hair is now normal so this mask I have to leave on for like 15 15 minutes what will I do for 15 minutes I have no idea so I have tossed the lid right there and I cannot go and pick it up. Mama Earth actually has some great products. They are all chemical, no not chemical. They are sulfate and paraben free which is really good for your hair and skin. So before you shampoo your hair, always use either hair oil or hair mask. Either of the two. Don't use both of them together. So this mask actually uh, preps your hair for the shampoo and when you wash your hair, it turns out kind of nice. There was another problem with my hair and that was that my hair had a lot of split ends. To get rid of them, I used to go to a salon every 15 days or a month and just get them trimmed. And then I realized that it was really expensive to go to a salon like every 15 days. So one day I stumbled upon this YouTube video. I didn't stumble upon it. I actually searched for it because I was desperate. I found this video very interesting which said how to cut your hair at home in layers if you have layers you have split ends on all your layers so you need to trim all of your layers i am gonna put this link in the description and also over here somewhere so you can check this video out it helped me a lot and since then i have been cutting my hair like every month which is very good because a you save a lot of money and second you have control over the length can we all agree that the barbers at salons really cut your hair shorter than you ask them to they always cut your hair shorter even when you tell them chota nahi karna hai, nahi karna hai, all that can be avoided if you cut your hair at home so i think it's time to wash my hair now with shampoo then i'll apply the conditioner and i keep this conditioner for like five minutes it says 10 minutes but 10 minutes is i think too long and i will be back in a sec i don't want to do any lousy transitions but i don't know yeah they actually look pretty weird i usually do not use blow dry unless and until it's like very necessary and i need them to dry like asap and i only use straightener in this area the bangs and the side pieces 
I do not use straightener for the rest of my hair unless and until it is like very necessary. Right now they look pretty jet black actually, but they are actually kind of copperish color. You will see it once my hair starts to dry. Also, I know nobody asked me. I asked this question to myself actually, like would I ever color my hair bolder colors like yellow, purple, orange, red, blue, green? Honestly, no. I do not think I will ever be able to do that in my life. Like I don't see it happening. Neither I see that I've cut my hair short. This short. Would you like it? No. The thing is I do not have guts. I'm not a risk taker actually. And I fear if I cut my hair I don't think I will ever be able to grow them this long again. And also I do not want any kind of bleach to touch my hair because I know it's just gonna leave me tuckly. Okay, so the next step to my hair care is this live on for rough and dry hair and as you can see by the bottle, I have just started using it. I'm just gonna... Trust me, the expensive brands work good too. They are expensive for a reason. I just think that Levon is right now good for my hair and I do not go out or anything. I just wash my hair, I stay at home and it's actually a fine price to pay for a hair serum when you don't have anywhere to go right and it smells great actually it smells like my childhood so i take this white tooth toothed teeth white tooth comb to uh, subtly spread the serum Levon actually releases all the tangles too, so it kind of works great. Let's see one hair fell, only one. To be honest, my hair fall has reduced a lot since I have started doing this this whole hair care routine. That's why I wanted to share this with you. Also, I am not saying that this will work for everyone because it took me like years to finally find out what kind of hair care routine suits me. If you want to go for keratin, I think it's a great choice. But again, it depends on what kind of hair you have. Some people told me that keratin actually damaged their hair and after it was washed away, their hair became more frizzy and damaged, which is not the case with me. My hair became softer. It didn't return to their original wild state also i am not gonna use a hair blow dryer because i want to show you how my hair looks naturally air dried so i will be back with another transition hi so this is my hair totally natural air dried and since my hair is thin it doesn't take long for them to dry so I am back in like 15 minutes. Also, since I've just shampooed, they look like really fluffy and everything. But actually, my hair looks best on the next day. Everyone's hair looks the best on the next day that they shampoo. So when you have to like go out somewhere or something, try washing your hair a day before or the night before to get the best results. You don't have to wait till tomorrow. You just have to wait for like one second for another transition coming. So I will tell you what my hair looks like a day after I have shampooed my hair i don't remember how that transition went but anyway guys this is my second day here i've not applied straightener or anything yet and i think they're fine just a few tips from my side always nourish your hair before shampooing so you can use either a hair oil or a hair mask whatever you want and use a sulfate free shampoo and conditioner for your hair if you want your hair to get better always try to air dry them and not use blow dry unless and until it's like very very necessary Ajkal, everyone is sitting at home so try not to use hair straightener and colors try not using it as much as you can keep your hair free free of everything else so i really hope you guys uh, like this video and those who were asking continuously for my hair care routine i hope this helped you and i hope you try these products if you want for this video leave a like comment and if you want to share it with a friend then share this video also i will see you next week till then take care of yourself stay safe and wear your mask okay bye guys Oh, 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 oh,